Hi, my name is Dr. Richard Hillston, and you're watching Knife Skills. I'm a surgeon, and I like to use this channel to do some medical education. And today I want to show you the two balloon experiment. And essentially, this represents two areas of the body, one with a large reservoir and one with a smaller reservoir. You can clearly see that there's uh, two different sizes of balloons here. And intuitive thinking would say, well, the air would flow from the higher pressure balloon into the lower pressure balloon, if that were the case that the smaller balloon is actually the lower pressure balloon. But in actual fact, the smaller balloon is a larger uh, pressure balloon. Very similar to areas in the body like the colon, for example, where the cecum is larger, it'll be the area of lower pressure. So let me just demonstrate that really quickly. So I'm gonna open up this valve, and you're gonna see that the air flowed from the smaller balloon here into the larger balloon. And that's uh, consistent. Now there's a lot of uh, things that are going on here and it's worthwhile just mentioning them. So the equation that governs this is known as Laplace's law. And there's two things happening here. Essentially, Laplace is describing the pressure within the sphere. Now, the relationship between the pressure in the severe sphere has, it comes from two components. It comes from the stretching of the rubber itself. So the more you pull on rubber, the harder it is to stretch it. You can really get that uh, feeling when you're when you're pulling on the the balloon here. That that the more I pull it, the harder it, the the more force it, it comes to return to normal, and that's known as Hooke's law. But the amount of area that is changing with the added air is smaller and smaller as the radius of the balloon expands. So the actual pressure in the sphere is a function of both the material stretch of the, of the balloon itself. It really comes from the material stretch. So it's a function of, of the actual tension of the material itself and the radius of the balloon. The same thing happens in the, uh, in the colon or other areas of the body that act as a reservoir. So the stretching of the material of the colon is going to be impacted both by the, the, the amount of stretch, so the, the more stretch on the material itself, on the colon wall itself, as well as the radius. So this will apply to any curved uh, surface. It does not apply to other shapes of surfaces, but with the curved surface, um, the, as the radius expands, the pressure in that sphere decreases. Again, in the case of the balloon, the radius is expanding, but also the forces on the actual rubber material itself are increasing as well. And um, that relationship is therefore not perfectly linear. Same thing with the, with the uh, colon or other parts of the body. There's two things happening. There's a change in pressure that's related to the ra radius. That's described by La Laplace's law, as well as the forces pushing back on it from the um, change in stretch of the rubber, which is described by Hooke's Law.